Did you know that 35% of people in America go without a stable support system? And over 20% of them are more likely to develop a mental health problem than the average American. Whatever the type or cause of the unstable support system, it still most likely will have a negative impact on the person's future. Sadly, there isn't a lot of research by medical professionals that has been recorded. But however, that doesn't make this topic any less important. Heather Stanstrom and Sandra Hoyt are two of the few professionals who have studied this. Their studies have shown that instability during a child's early years can affect their long-term health, learning abilities, as well as who they trust. Depending on how severe the situation is, it can also affect their growth and full potential. Stanstrom and Hort realized that some things are, can affect people and they won't know for a while until it gets pretty bad. For instance, Isabella Smith moved around quite often during her early Due to that, due to the fact that her father was in the military. Her dad was always working on base, so most of the time, her dad wasn't around throughout the day. This left her without a male role model for most of the time. Since she moved so much, she also didn't have a reliable group of friends to support her, give advice, and hang out with. When she was around 13 years old, Isabella started to realize mental health issues occurring. When she was 17, she finally saw a doctor. The doctor told her that since she had moved around so much that it was most likely that to be causing her to develop these problems she was facing. Because she was moving around for basically her whole life, Isabella didn't realize the effect it was having on her until she was much older and could really understand what was going on. Different circumstances could affect one person differently from another going through the same thing. For example, say two people are dealing with the loss of a parent or a loved one. One person could take it very maturely, but the other could go through a total breakdown. This could be for many different reasons. The person could have dealt with loss their whole life or simply just not have been close to the person. The second could have been really close to this person and have never dealt with this loss before. Whatever the reason may be, their different circumstances cause them to deal with the, sit the situation even though they're experiencing the same thing. There is a major difference between a stable and unstable support system. The definition of stable is not likely to overturn, firmly fixed, which is closely related to a stable support system because a true stable support system won't break no matter what comes its way, just like a strong building. The definition of unstable is prone to change, fail, or give way, not stable. A Jingo tower is kind of like this in a way. It changes quite a bit throughout the game, and it tends to give way, just like an unstable support system does. It is important to know the difference between the two. It is fairly easy to tell if you look for what you need to. You can tell if you have a stable support system or an unstable support system by evaluating your situation. Also think about what makes a support system a support system. By thinking about this, you can easily tell. It is important to have a stable support system because it will help you to be more happy more often. By just knowing someone is there for you, it can make you happy on its own. It can also benefit you because people who surround you will typically boost your confidence. You can always count on your support system to fall back on.